Today's social media segment is brought to you by Terrebonne General Health System. Your health is our legacy. Rouse's, you're either local or you're not. Buick, the craft of modern luxury. St. Martin and Bork, know your rights. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to a very special Bayou Time. I'm Martin False, and I've said it many times on my program. Of course, I've interviewed the Dagnalts many times on my program. If it wasn't Mr. Dean Dagnalt on, it was Mr. Herc Dagnalt on. And certainly two guys, two gentlemen that served us well in the war, World War II veterans. Well, today is a very special day as HTV honors Mr. Herc Dagnalt. His 100 year birthday celebration has been going on for quite some time. And the family has provided us with many pictures of that celebration. But we wanted to give a special shout out to Mr. Herc because what a gem he has been over the years. He's appeared on my one on one program, on my Buy You Time program, on my Salute to Veterans programs. He has been constant throughout the years. And we certainly wish him a great 100th birthday celebration. He has been such a great asset to our community. Let's listen in. Where were you born and, and what's the earliest years that you can remember? I was born in New Orleans, Louisiana, July the 9th, 1924. I can remember my earliest years when Dean was born on Hollywood Plantation, okay? And quite naturally, I used to play ball and I got, for some reason, into the horse lot. I got under the fence and the horse got out of the stable. And the horse came at me and I laid, I fell down trying to get away. And the horse came and he pawed on me, stepped on my back. Finally got the horse away and they rushed me to Hummer to see the old Dr. Collins. And he says, son, he told my parents, I remember that. He told my parents, he says, he's fortunate. He said, another inch he'd have broke his back. But take me back to Homer in the early days. I, I love to hear the stories about what Homer used to be like in the early days. So paint a picture for us who, who weren't there and, and for the audience who might want to remember. Well, I, I can go back, say, to the, uh, the mid-30s, the early 30s. We lived at Preskill, okay? And Daddy was the second overseer at Preskill, okay? And Saturdays, we were lucky enough to come to town to go to see a cowboy show, Dean and I, for five cents. Another five cents for a bar of candy, we'd break it in half. But that was not all the time, okay? <laughs> My grandmother lived on, on, on Narcan Street here in home, 197 Narcan. And at that time, uh, Martin, I remember there were wooden banquets, wooden, no wooden sidewalks. There were wooden banquets, okay? Out of town, say around Morgan Street on Main Street, okay? And the old buildings in Homer, or some are still here, okay? And in Homer itself, I can remember seeing the old model cars, okay, the 30s, the 40s, et cetera, all right? I graduated in May of 43, and I went in the service in, in the latter part of May of 43, okay? And I went for induction in New Orleans, okay? Took a physical, and standing in line for the physical, you walked up and there was a, a, a table, three medical officers sitting beyond the table. And we were all boys from Turbo and High School, class of 43. And not, my turn came up, and they looked at my, my physical that, that I'd gone through, and all of them looked at it and said, looked at it and they put it down and said, rejected. And I turned around and I looked, and one of the boys, I think it was Earl Bergeron, he said, it looks like you're, you're not going to make it. I said, look that way. Well, the three got in the huddle again, okay, and talked. Canceled. Accepted. <laughs> and this really happened. I, and what it was, I was colorblind and flat-footed. And on, on those two uh, deals, that's why I was rejected, and later on they talked about it, and I was accepted, okay? Uh -huh. We went to different places to let off 
replacements. I was a replacement. I went to Milne Bay, and from Milne Bay, I went to my outfit, uh, the 141st Army Anti-Aircraft Artillery, Automatic Weapons Battalion. What we did, we four batteries, A, B, C, and D batteries, we placed around to protect airfields. I was in headquarters battery, fortunately, okay? So you were in the Army? I was in the Army, right. 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 Correct, right. Correct. I spent uh, two years overseas, to be exact. I left to go overseas in January of 44, and I came back in January of 45. What would y'all do if y'all did not have cell phones today? I, I guess I'm from the old school, okay? Because yeah. the old school has taught me a lot of things. How to get by today, and as life moves forward, I'll... I've been educated to realize how wonderful it, it was tough in those days. But toughness makes you the man think more and Make. thankful for what you got. Right. There you see it and hear it, the one-on-one -on -one with Mr. Herc Degnault. I did a few years back, and God, he's such a gem, like I said. And we appreciate the fact that he's been around and with us for so long. And certainly, thanks to the family for supplying us those great pictures. Here are some of the pictures as we sprinkle them in on this segment of Mr. Herc's 100-year celebration. And I know he has a tight-knit group who wanted to celebrate with him. So once again, on behalf of our entire crew at HTV, we wanted to reach out and wish Mr. Herc a great, great 100-year celebration. We know... He and his wife are watching. They've been great community members for a long time and great role models. And we appreciate the fact that they're watching. We ran it especially early for you, Mr. Herc, because we know you go to bed just a little bit earlier nowadays. So we wanted to make sure that you received it and on HTV. And it's also going to be on Facebook and YouTube. So once again, happy birthday, Mr. Herc. We love you. We appreciate you. And thank you for doing what you did for our community all these years. Since 1954, Terrebonne General has been a beacon of health and hope in our community. As we mark seven decades of dedication to your well-being, Terrebonne General Health System remains committed to advancing health care, improving lives, and expanding our services to meet your evolving needs. In celebrating our past, we look forward to a future filled with promise and progress. Your health is our legacy. To discover more, visit tghealthsystem.com.